As we delve further into the history of CT2, a system better known by its marketing name Telepoint, I wanted to show you one of the less common of the four UK Telepoint systems, PhonePoint. Formed by a group of companies comprising of STC, British Telecom, France Telecom and 9X, PhonePoint was a cordless telephony standard that was used in the early 1990s to provide short-range proto-mobile phone services in some countries in Europe. In July of 1988, the DTI announced that they would be issuing four licenses in which to run telepoint services in the UK. And in early 1989, the UK government announced that from 11 applications, four licenses would be awarded to run telepoint systems for the next 12 years. I covered these in my previous telepoint documentary, but as well as Rabbit, PhonePoint was a second winning contender. A telepoint service was seen as providing an alternative form of mobile communications that was cheaper for operators to set up and run than a mobile phone network and would in turn offer customers a cheaper product as during the 1980s and early 1990s mobile phone technology was still extremely expensive. The idea of the telepoint system is that a customer has a cordless telephone and a base station in the home which work like any other cordless phone system. However, the phone could be taken outside and used within the vicinity of a telepoint access point. When in range of one of these access points, customers could use the phones to make calls. Rabbit handsets were the most mass produced and are still relatively easy to find today, along with the base stations. Phone point handsets, on the other hand, are much harder to find as they were produced in significantly smaller numbers. PhonePoint was the first telepoint service when it was launched in the August of 1989. A handset cost £245 and a base station cost £195. Customers also had to pay a £20 connection charge with a monthly rental of £8. Calls were charged per minute at between 10p and 55p off-peak and between 13p and 85p at all of the times. The service launched in London and the South East with plans to provide nationwide coverage within a year. Here we have a handset designed for use on the phone point system. It was produced by Shea Communications and was marketed as the forum personal phone. The example you see here is brand new and was never actually used. It's a slim and ultra modern flip phone style phone and was well ahead of its time from a design point of view and had features such as 12 number memory, last number redial and a tone pad to access home information services. The phone also came with a battery charging system that was bigger than the handset itself and could be used for charging two batteries at a time, with the handset only taking one regular AA cell. The phone required a base station to work in the home and this is it. Again, it's never been used and is in amazing condition for its age and is still boxed. Each base station could support six separate handsets and each handset could be assigned to six separate base stations, making the system really versatile for its time. They were also compatible with BT, Mercury and Office, PabX's or private automatic branch exchanges, which is an automatic telephone switching system within a private enterprise. PhonePoint was led largely by BT. The second largest shareholder was STC who developed and manufactured the handsets. In September 1991, PhonePoint tried to attract customers from CallPoint and ZonePhone, both of which had ceased operations. By offering phone point handsets at reduced prices and by seeking to replace call point and zone phone base stations in public areas with phone point base stations. Unfortunately, this really never came into fruition and the phone point service was closed on the 1st of October of 1991 with less than a thousand registered customers and around 3,300 base stations deployed. Interestingly enough, the system still works as a house phone today, despite the telepoint side of things being long since turned off. So there you have another snapshot of Telepoint history in the form of PhonePoint, another CT2 system that was basically formed far too late and if it had been formed earlier it would have survived much much longer, the same as Rabbit. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, if you want to see other documentaries and videos on Telepoint then look in the description below and there's also on screen links at the end of this video. And if you have any comments, suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3, thanks for watching.